Hi viewers, this video lecture is from the Chem Informatics Laboratory of Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute, Chennai, presented by Prof. Uday Kalla of the Department of Chemistry. This lecture session describes the scanning of potential energy of ethane molecule through DFT studies using Gaussian software package for the Integrated Physical Science Lab 2 of BTEC program. Yes, you can see the ethane molecule dancing. Yes, it's rotating in space. As you know, every atom is surrounded by an electron cloud and they repel each other. When the carbon-carbon single bond of the ethane molecule undergoes rotation, the molecule takes different shapes in space called conformers. The potential energy associated with these molecules are scanned to analyze the shape of the molecule at which it has a minimum potential energy, which is useful to identify the stability of the molecule and in turn will take any researchers further towards the reactivity of the molecule and related studies. Yes, now we will see how this ethane molecule is given as input to the program. The structure of ethane molecule is given as input through Gauss view. This can be done by clicking, I will just show you. This can be done by clicking the carbon tetrahedral, here it is seen. the carbon tetrahedral selecting here carbon tetrahedral and adding one more to the already existing one you will get a ethane molecule like this so this is given as input now we'll move on to select the redundant coordinates in the tools see in the menu bar there is an icon called tools in that we will navigate to redundant coordinates. Once navigated to redundant coordinates and it is selected, you will get redundant coordinate editor. So, in this we can click add. See there is a pop up where we can see add. So, now once you click add, here you can in this button you add dihedral and scan coordinate. So, next we will just edit this redundant coordinators like just click the coordinate and click your atom. Same way select all the coordinates one by one and the atoms. So, like this now all the four coordinates are selected and the atoms have been selected here. Now, Next step is in the scan coordinate we have to select how many steps to take and how many degrees which you want to rotate the molecule. So, I have just given here 5 steps to be taken and 60 degrees it has to rotate. Now, once it is selected and given ok, we will move on to calculate. See here in the toolbar there is an icon called calculate. Just click this icon calculate, you will get Gaussian calculation setup. So, click again Gaussian calculation setup and you will get a window like this. In this, we will go for the method. So, method we can select a density functional theory as the aim of this experiment is to study the potential energy surface through DFT. I have selected DFT. In that which method, B3 LIP method I have selected and the basis set 631G. Of course, I have been gone for polarization. Otherwise, you could have selected here the polarization. And now, you can submit. We can come here below to submit it. Now, yes, all these have explained. So, once you have given the submit, you will get a save file. So, you can save your file in your prescribed uh, preferred folder. And then, you can submit the job. 
So once job is submitted, the Gaussian calculation setup runs and it gets saved in the folder like this. Now you can click the Gaussian checkpoint file. In this you have to click the Gaussian checkpoint file. So it ends up with the staggered structure of ethane. So you just want to scan the structure that is for to get the energy we have to go for the scan option. So here there is a result column in the menu bar. So go to results under result you can go for scan. So click scan wow you are here with the scan total energy. So these steps you can just see here under various uh, potential energy the shape of the molecule keeps changing and the energy also keeps on changing. So from here you can identify the minimum potential energy of this molecule and which shows the stable stage of the molecule. Stability is shown through this and of course this video is just a lab experiment wherein researchers can go for 3D and much more potential energy studies through Gaussian. Learning never ends. Enjoy your learning. Thank you and keep learning.